Hi everyone, so in this video we will learn how you can get the value of search parameters using JavaScript. So let's get started. Let's have a basic structure here. We need one div element. Style will be text align center. We need one input element here. Placeholder will be enter param. We need one button and it will be cat. We also need one h1 element to display the value. Also include a script file. Great. Now just open this file in the browser to see the output. Nice. Let me explain how it will work. So we'll have one dummy URL and we'll enter the search parameter here. And when I will click on this get button, I want to display the value here. So let's go to script file and start working on it. So I already have a dummy URL available. So this is the URL. So what I want to achieve when I will type user in the input box and click on the get button, the value which I will get that will be Peter. In case of a age, it will be 27. In case of a country, it will be USA. Now let's select all the elements. First of all, button. So it will be document dot query selector button. Let's select the input element. Select the H1 element and we'll make it display. Let's add event listener to this button and it will be click event. Now the first step here is to retrieve this part from this URL. For this we'll make use of URL object. And we'll pass this URL string here. To get that string, we'll make use of search property. Sorry for this. It should not be window. It should be URL dot search. And we'll make use of slice method. After doing this, we'll get only this part. To get search parameters from this string, we have to make use of URL search params object. So let me create one more variable. It will be URL search params. I will pass this search string here. Okay. Now we need to get the value from the input box. So let's make it input param and it will be equal to input dot value. First of all, we'll check if this parameter actually exists for this we'll make use of search params has function and we'll pass input param here if it is true we'll display the value in the h1 element so it will be display dot inner text will be equal to search params get and we'll pass this input param here else just copy this and paste it here. We'll set the inner text to wrong param. Save it. Now go to browser. Here, type user. We'll get Peter. Type age. We'll get 27. Type country. We'll get USA. But if I'll enter some wrong parameter, for example, department. I'll get this output. So this is all what you need to do to get the search parameters value. I hope you got the point how it actually works. See you in the next video. Have a nice day.